Hello everyone and welcome to my first video tutorial ever. So recently I started uploading my own projects that I've done and this Marine Corps mailbox was one of them. I noticed that I had little bits of pictures as I was making it. So although I made this for my husband last year on Father's Day, I had these little clips and decided to somehow make a video. So it's, it's working out so far. I'll post my um, link to Pinterest down um, below in the description box. And also let me know if you guys like this. I mean, I know I started off as a singing channel and that's why all of you guys subscribed. But what do you feel about me switching it up and doing like fun videos like here and there or this tutorial video? Just let me know. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> all right, so first things first, Here's a list of the things you'll need. I used blue paint for the side stripe. I used a sample size of bare sapphire sparkle and matte. The red paint, I don't remember the exact color, but it was the bare brand and in matte. For the gold paint, I just used an acrylic paint that I had at home. You'll also need painter's tape, just used to align the side stripes. You'll need Marine Corps stickers of your choice and ranking. I bought mine at a local military surplus store. Two lids or caps, whatever you call them, and that will be used as buttons, the ones that you'll be painting gold. I recommend using twist off lids if you can because if you use an opener, it may cause the lid to bend. You'll also need foam to put under the lids. I'll try to explain this a little bit better later. You'll also need heavy duty glue such as Gorilla Glue. I tried doing a double duty and even used like a super glue. And you'll also need a clear nail polish to touch up on the stickers. Before we get started with anything, I wanted to explain that I cleaned the mailbox first and then I used a coat of black paint to give it that shiny look. Our mailbox was pretty old. After the coat of black paint, I went ahead and used painter's tape to align the red and blue stripes that will go on the side. While waiting for the blue paint to dry, I had to figure out where I wanted to put everything, you know, the alignments and all that stuff. And also, I forgot to mention, you might need a pillow so that when you're painting, you have that pillow for comfort. Alright, so huge difference, and I know that there's a lot of missed parts in here, but initially when I did this, I didn't plan on doing a tutorial video, so I'll try to explain it as best as I can. Starting with the red stripe, I basically did the same thing I did for the blue, but just put the painter's tape a little over the blue, so that way, when I do the red stripe, it was straightened out. I'm trying to explain things the best that I can, so I hope that made sense. Okay. Here's where all the detail comes in. As you'll notice, on the left, the right, and in the middle, I have that red stripe to try to mimic the Marine Corps dress blues. Also here, you'll notice the lids. So if you try to use Gorilla Glue on just the lining, the outside of the lid, it won't work. So that's why I stuck foam inside of the lid. Does that make sense? So instead of just gluing on the lids with the outer corners, I put foam in there to give it that extra hold. Also, one extra tip. The stickers seem pretty well, just like that, but because we live in Arizona and the brutal sun tends to dry things out, I wanted to give a little extra protection. So what I did was put clear nail polish all along the sides of the stickers. It's been a little over a year and this is what the mailbox looks today. Haven't had any problems with it and still looking good. Alright, so I'll go ahead and end it with the before and after picture. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of the United States Marine Corps mailbox. If you liked what you've seen today, please go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and comment and let me know what you think.